everywhere was shaking yesterday when this news broke out and a lot of people were like what is happening well in the camp of the oppositions they were so happy they were jubilating that we told them that they don't have structures they don't have structures they don't have, have what it is how can somebody win without uh, having senators without having governors how how is it going to happen they are just on social media we told them we warned them and even the obedient were like what is happening well not until when the labor party itself reacted to this rumor because it had already gone viral and people obedient were really like oh my goodness who, who is who, who is who is doing this who is doing this and i remember a journalist one time said ob should be careful labor party should be careful because a lot of people that will be coming they will be saboteurs among them people who do not have a good intentions they will come and plant them in the party and we have not even seen anything yet this is just a small aspect of the whole thing by the time the election the election time is getting closer we are going to be hearing a lot of surprises that's why the obedience should be surprised or shouldn't be surprised because a lot of things will be happening that might want to break people's hearts because they that is just the essence of what the opposition really wants just to demarket the candidates to discourage the people and what have you because they want the status quo to continue the labor party has reacted to report that its national chairman barrister julius aburi has resigned politics nigeria gathered that a report went viral online on wednesday evening alleging that aburi resigned his positions as chairman stating that there was no way the party's presidential candidate peter obi would win in 2023 of course when you hear this kind of a thing ah we told them we told them but they are joking but what are you telling them they are not telling them anything just that you are the ones deceiving yourself and i've said it if obi wins today who is he going to affect if he loses today that means just uh, like uh, what uh, pa adiba just said he said he's 94 that uh what does he really want but he's just trying to you know straight the record rate said the record straight so if you believe that a uh, obi is going to suffer or whatever <laughs> well now uh, i even heard when this man the supporter of a uh, tinumbu afegua you know he was a a a, a, chief, a a pdp chieftain but all of a sudden he decamped and he began to speak a different language i heard him say something i think some days some days back saying that if obi wins fine he doesn't have a problem with that and i was just like what is this what is this guy talking about Whoever that wins, and that's why I say everybody must be paying attention to all these presidential candidates because anybody can win. So we just have to hold them because if you are not listening to them, you are not uh, uh, scrutinizing them, you are not picking what they are saying. If they win and you're just concentrating only on this person, on this person, it's not only when other people say something apart from your candidate that you believe in just to criticize them. No. If your own candidate, you must criticize your candidates. And that's like some people are just loyal to a fault. At the end of the day, they will not be, ha- be able to have their own sense of reason. And they begin to say, oh, whatever this person does, oh, I will just take his ah, No, we just have to continue to, to hype the person. We just have to continue to support the person, irrespective of what. At the end of the day, it's not going to affect them. If you see you and I, that this whole thing will be affecting. So the business of all these political this a candidate is supposed to be a business and watch everything they do. It's not only to criticize them, but because in case any of them wins, anybody can win. Because as it is now, people are saying the 2023 election is going to be a big surprise to many. So nobody knows where the whole thing is swinging into. But you know, politicians say with their usual way, they are always optimistic. Even in the midst of failure, I always say that. Well, however, in a swift response made available to this newspaper, the party described the report as false wow as when people heard this ah they were like ah wait a second because uh, a potential one who some people yesterday the party tweeted please disregard the news going around that our labor national chairman has resigned and dumped with her it is a lie from the opposition yes we are not we are set to take back nigeria come 2023. Nanugo, hmm. Ah, everybody was just like, oh, we said this now. What is happening? 
whether I resign or not, Obi is going nowhere. Uh -huh. uh, you know you. You don't even exist. It is you and your generation are going nowhere. The Labour Party chairman was there before Obi hey, came and bowed with hope for the party. Even when the party was not popular, he was still chairman. Now that the party has gone viral, the is he now that he wants to resign fake news from the opposition? Of course, that's a good point anyway. <clears throat> mm. You need to monitor and a okay, please. Okay, I just one naira rose from one ninety naira to eight hundred and fifty naira in eight years of APC government. Uh, you still want to vote APC or PDP? So continue. If it is not, so let the chairman himself come out and disown the vision here. These are the people that really want to say it to be the way it's been talked about. And somebody say whether he wins or not, or he leaves or not, that the party goes nowhere. APC and their lying sons just don't worry. More of their lies will keep coming. Until INEC announces Peter B as the 2023 presidential election winner. Hmm. I know that it is fake news. From failed APC and PDP will be that the mandate will stand. It is not a big deal. God is filtering the sediment out of obedience. He, okay, if he resigns, no problem. After a PDP don't re resign to Obi go see win. We, well, the news is unavailable, it's unbelievable, but if it is true, no cause for alarm. Struggle continues for victory. Is sure it is emergency that overwhelm a strong man, but it is a, a same emergency that determine who is really a strong man. Woman everywhere. We are not even surprised about the fake news. It must always from those that forge their identity, certificates, business, their health, children, and their parents. If PSLB is not a big threat to the two evil parties, why all this siege around him? We got continue to shit our uh, incoming president. Some people believe that say, oh, if or if it's a B wins, it's a uh, hmm. they don't even know it's a civil for them. Ah, my goodness, it is really ridiculous. Labour Party is not a political party; it's just a movement that will soon vanish. Okay, they never vanish in Grenada. Okay, hmm, maybe. You wish he was the presidential candidate. Hey, not, not, not so. It is the only work of APC. Fear and inferiority complex, knowing they will soon go extinct. I think Oshimole was making matter ah, this and that. He does not need, they don't need to read anything. They have done this, they have done that. Some people say, okay, let's see how all of this goes. But in a nutshell, um, the Labour Party has made us to understand that it's a fake news because a lot of people were really surprised and shocked about this so guys let's hear your opinion and i'll get it from this